Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the Everton News Daily. John Philippe Gabaman has joined CSKA Moscow on loan until the end of the season. Uh, there isn't an option to buy for the Russian club. Uh, they've released a very interesting video um, which shows Gabaman hardly in an Everton shirt at all. Uh, but they've welcomed him and hopefully he can go there and do well because his move to Everton has been a disaster really hasn't it he's been injured for the majority of his time here uh, he's not been able to get in this season uh, under three different managers now uh, and he has gone off to Moscow to play regular football so we'll have to see how he does whether he'll get another chance at Everton in the summer if he does okay remains to be seen but obviously with no option to buy in there um, he, you know he's got the opportunity to show Everton what he's all about or if not Everton other clubs and get some games and some minutes under his belt because he has been fit for most of the season and he's just, other than a start at Wolves and a couple of brief appearances off the bench, he's not really played any kind of regular football, so it's up to him to go and restart his career, I guess. Uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin has spoke to Everton's website and talked about his injuries. Um, obviously, he has had a quad injury, which he got at Brighton this season in the, the third game of the season and he spoke about how difficult it was. He injured the same, you know, aggravated the same injury three times during his rehabilitation, which set him back. And he talked about it being at times it was soul destroying. Um, he missed playing, said it's given him a new appreciation of playing, and he uh, he wants to get back and scoring goals. Wants to reignite that feeling of scoring goals again, and we need him to. Quite frankly, we need him to have a unbelievable second half of the season to pull us clear from the trouble we're in at the moment. He spoke about the game on Saturday, he said while it was good for him to get 90 minutes under his belt, he was disappointed with the result and said the players will work hard to put things right. Uh, I think I speak for most fans when I said don't talk about it, just go and put it right because these rally cries are a bit crap. But it is good to have Don back and hopefully he can get fully fit soon and start scoring some goals that will help us. Uh, Everton apparently want Wolfsburg midfielder Aste Vranchik. I've probably mulled his name, but that's what it says. And the Belgian 19 year old, who is a Belgian under 21 international, is a box to box midfielder. And according to reports, Frank Lampard and his staff have been very impressed by him. Uh, he's played 18 games for Wolfsburg since moving from Mechelen in the summer, 14 of those in the Bundesliga, in which he scored two goals. He is highly rated. Uh, Everton looking to improve their midfield in the summer and uh, apparently young Asta is one of the ones they're looking at. Conor Gallagher is another one who's been mentioned over the weekend. Obviously Frank Lampard knows him from his time at Chelsea. He's been on loan at Crystal Palace this season has been very good uh, but apparently Lampard keeping tabs on him and Southampton striker you're also on loan from Chelsea Armando Brogia who played against Everton at the weekend Lampard did give him his debut of course while he was Chelsea manager in the 4-0 win over Everton at that time and uh, Lampard spoke highly of him last week but apparently very interested in bringing him to Goodison Park this summer and finally Lewis Gibson who's on loan uh, at Sheffield Wednesday from Everton made this comeback for the Owls at the weekend came on as a second half substitute and registered an assist Darren Moore the Sheffield Wednesday boss delighted to have Gibson back uh, Sheffield Wednesday have already spoken about keeping him after this season Gibson's contract is up in the summer he's had an injury plagued season uh, like most of Everton's players uh, but it is good to see him back and he may join Sheffield Wednesday permanently if uh, these last few months go well and he can stay injury free but good to see him back um, amongst the action that is it for the news daily give the video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't if you want more videos join us over on Patreon uh, check out the final word that is live now and uh, we'll see you later